because on October 24, 2015, my son Nicholas Rodenberg was killed by another driver that ran a stop sign. He was driving on Nicholson Road, heading home, but he was struck by the driver crossing Morley Road. The driver that killed my son on October 24th was only charged with a moving violation causing death. I know what a moving violation is, <clears throat> but to me this is beyond a moving violation. She disrespected the law. Why did she run the stop sign? What was she doing? Why was she distracted? I just wanted answers to these questions. I don't understand why this driver took my son's life with blatant disrespect for the law. Taking the life of someone because you're distracted should be considered a felony and not a moving violation. The person responsible for taking the life of my son should be punished for what she did and not receive a slap on the hand for not paying attention. Killing anyone by any means should get a maximum sentence. I feel that my son's life is worth that. Listening to this family talk about what they've lost, it's obvious my client is affected by this. To think that she is suffering no punishment or penalty is just not the case. It is very different, though, than what the family is experiencing. My client can do one thing in the face of this type of tragedy. She can move forward. She can do the right things from here on out. She can go to counseling, which she is and has been, not by order of this court, immediately after this accident, she was admitted to a mental health hospital. She's continued along the course of trying to deal with what has happened, not only to Mr. Roddenberg, but his family, the community, herself, her family. I mean, there are an awful lot of things that she's going to have to overcome every day also to get up, but that's the only thing she can do. Calling this a felony, not going to make it better for the family. Calling this a misdemeanor, not going to make it better for anybody. Having someone do the right thing after a horrible accident, after a horrible mistake, after a lapse of judgment and driving on a young driver's part, that's what she can do to make this right. We'll already do the 10 days on weekends. So every Friday she's going to have to report to the jail between 6 and 9 and serve 48 hours. Five weeks. not a pleasant place to be, but I think we need to understand the importance of stopping and obeying the traffic laws as they're put there. But other than that, I look at this as an accident, and there isn't much else I can do. <coughs> I can hold her on probation for that period of time, and I will do that. You should know, if you do not follow probation, I can put you in jail for a lot longer, and I will.